Hello everyone, Colin Kinnett here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to be making this great little peekaboo wall cabinet that's got some little shelves in here and it's got a really cool cleat system to hang it on the wall. So stick around and see how we make this great little wall cabinet. Okay, well I've picked out some wood that we can use for this project. The first thing I need to do is cut all of it to size and then we're going to do some pre-finishing on this. Now I'm just going to take a moment to trim these all to width. Well, now that I've got all my pieces cut, I'm going to take them to my sanding area and I'm also going to pre-finish them. Okay, we finished all our pieces. So I've got an amber dye on here and one coat of Osmo. Now what we're going to do now is this is the bottom, this is the top shelf and I want to put the uprights like that, but I want these uprights to be offset by a little bit because I want a little bit of a reveal in the side here. And what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to be using my doweling jig and I've just taken a moment <laughs> to figure out what I'm going to do with this thing and how it's going to work. So I've taken it apart and reset some of the pieces on it and I've got an offset now that I really like and I think it's going to work just fine. So I'm just going to put this together and here's the offset. I can put that in there like that. Yeah, that's perfect. That'll give me the perfect offset for that. That's right. Okay, I'll just do the top. Now to drill the vertical holes, I just need to take it back to its original configuration. To drill the vertical holes, I put the piece of wood in the vise. It's a lot easier and I've reset the collet as well. Okay, let's do a quick dry fit here. I'm actually just going to hold that because it's a, it, this is only a quarter inch dowel. And if I am careful, now what I can do with this one now, because I have the pin for this, I can pin that and now the other ones I'm just p pushing pressure against here and they'll be fine. Do the same thing on the other side. And the first one is free. Now I just drilled the inside holes so I've put some dowels in there and I just want to check to make sure yeah perfect I don't want to push it all the way in it's too hard to get out now the interesting part of this build is this cleat that's going to get installed in the top. And let me draw you a picture of what that's going to look like. I'll draw you a side view picture. 
There's a variety of ways that we could hang this little shelf. We could use little clips like this and just put them on there and they'll have a, a little lip like that. Um, not really that attractive. So what we're going to do, I've never done a cleat quite like this before. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a cleat and that's what this board is going to be. So what I'm going to need to do is measure this board so that it'll go end to end inside of the frame. And then we're going to cut off the very back of the, the shelving unit and this cleat will then make up the very top down the back and um, make this and this sort of locking device here is what will hold us. So screws will go through here, a couple of screws will go through here. Actually they'll go through, they'll go behind here, they'll go hidden in here so that they'll go into the wall so that you won't even actually be able to see screws when you have this attached to the wall. Well I ended up drawing a little picture on the end of the board uh, which I often do because that way it shows you exactly what it is that you want to do. And I already have my glue line rip set up in the table saw so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Okay, that took a couple of passes, uh, a couple of passes extra because it was a little bit too tight. So I've just loosened it up and that just fits in there just like that. So that's perfect. So we can do some assembly now. Well, the assembly here is not very exciting and it's just a matter of putting a little bit of glue in every hole, putting some dowels in and putting it all together just like a Meccano set. So I'm not going to make you sit through all of it, but just so you get an idea when we get started here, what this is going to look like. I like to put the glue in, especially in a smaller uh, build like this. I like to swish the glue around a little bit just to make sure we get a good coverage everywhere. Well, our little cabinet's looking great. The next thing I need to do is build the little drawers in there, and they're really more decorative than anything else. So I've got some material that I've cut to do that with, uh, and I'm not going to they're not going to be anything special. What is going to be special is what we put on the front. And I've got a couple of options that I want you to have a look at. Now, when I've seen this cabinet in the past, I've seen, or something similar to it anyway, I've seen some very, a very light colored wood like this on there. And I like that, but I thought, <laughs> we have some spalted wood that we uh, went out and, and harvested uh, from the forest not long ago. And what I like about this is we can cut this into three spaces so that we can start it from here and cut here, then it extends to here and here. So there's that actual flow of wood and grain across there. And when I look at that, I think that looks pretty special in there. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Now before I start trimming up some of this lovely spalted wood, I just want to take a moment to remind you, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that. Uh, and don't forget to click the little gear icon so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. These drawers are really little fiddly parts, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some super glue and a little bit of accelerator in my squaring jig here and I'll just hit that with a little bit of accelerator and it's done it's hard
Okay, the drawers are all dry and they fit in there just perfectly nice and you know there's enough room for them to move around and I've made the fronts, I've cut all of the fronts uh, and I, <laughs> I think they look fabulous and I made them big enough so that I can put a very thin veneer underneath and check that out, look at how that flow all the way across there. There it is, how that flow all the way across there, how it, it just runs with the grain of that piece of wood and it just flows all the way across. I think that looks fabulous. So all I'm going to do now, uh, I'm just going to take a minute and glue these on. Well, now comes the time for the knobs and I'm really torn what to do. I've got this little piece of purple net, sort of a half moon, and when we put that on there, that's what that looks like. Uh, and then I've just made the same kind of thing in the, the same amber and that's what that looks like. And you know what, I'm not happy with either one of those, so maybe you've got some better ideas. Well, for the purpose of this video, I'm done. This has been a great little cabinet. I love the way this cleat goes on there. Um, it allows the whole back to be open, which makes it sort of a, a lighter looking kind of cabinet. Now, as you can see, I don't have any knobs on here, and I've shown you a couple of examples of what my suggestions are, but I'm interested in hearing what all our viewers have to say, because, you know, in the past I've finished some of these projects, and I put knobs on because that's what you do when you finish a project, but in this one I'm not going to rush that. We'll see what, uh, what other people's opinions are. Maybe somebody's got a great idea out there that we don't know about, and uh, I'm, I'm willing to listen to everything, so uh, shoot me a note and uh, let me know what you think that could go on here for a knob, and uh, in a later video we'll put those knobs on and we'll show you what that looks like. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Don't forget, we've got lots more videos coming, so uh, make sure that you subscribe.